<laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. I was just reading this book. Did you ever read it? Whatever Happened to the Class of 65? This is a book about a bunch of graduates from Palisades High School in 1965, and it profiled all the popular people in the class. And then there's always the guy in every class that got stuffed into the lockers, got his pencils dropped in the hall, the class nerd, and it talked about what happened to them in the intervening years. When well, in the intervening years, the popular people, their life didn't go as well as they might have hoped. But the class nerd, he turned into an accountant, like everybody predicted he was going to. But his life turned for the better. Harvey Bookstein graduated in 1970 with a bachelor's degree in business administration from Cal State University, Northridge. Upon graduation, he joined the CPA consulting firm of Kenneth Leventhal & Company, where he started to develop his expertise in real estate. In 1975, Harvey co-founded Roth, Bookstein & Zaslow, the accounting and business consulting firm that is now RBZ LLP and has grown into a large accounting and consulting firm with over 110 employees, including 14 partners. He has a tremendous energy um, to, um, as far as uh, putting in the time and the effort and being alert when it looks at when it means looking out for the best interest of a client. It doesn't matter whether it's six o'clock at night, eight o'clock, ten o'clock, or two in the morning. He'll, he will do whatever it takes to get the work out. Uh, Harvey has been the energy of the firm. Clients appreciate his honesty and his creativity. A lot of hard work. Uh, hard work uh, to. Well, really for Harvey, it's not hard work. Harvey loves what he does, so it is really never work to him. It is his passion that he is fulfilling. Uh, even to this day, Harvey works more than almost anybody in this place, and he really loves what he does. So it really goes to show people that if you really find what you do, um, you can really enjoy it. Harvey is a kid. Harvey is probably the biggest kid of all the kids. Harvey is very... Um, very fun-loving, very adventurous, always likes the element of surprise, and I hope that this time maybe we've surprised him. But I remember in our earlier years, almost the first year or second year we were all together, at midnight on a Sunday night, um, uh, we're working in our office, and uh, there you are running around in your underwear. Um, things still haven't changed that much. Harvey has almost 40 years of public accounting experience and has a hands-on approach to financial planning. He also specializes in dealing with financial issues relating to children, divorce, and the development of strategies to pass family businesses from one generation to the next. When I first met him, uh, he introduced me to um, his, um, his concept of therapeutic accounting which I found really fascinating because I was really curious so I asked him about it. It's about helping families. A lot of times uh, family fight because of the money and that's why he coined this term therapeutic accounting whereby he can help families by teaching them how to, to better manage uh, their wealth. What was really impressive is how Harvey, he never really talked about how much money a client made, what kind of car they drove, what kind of house they had, but he was always tell me about their character. There's always comments as to, yeah, the guy makes a lot of money, uh, you know, he's really smart, but he has no integrity. You know, he says, Shilish, never lose your integrity. You'll never gain it back. Every day is an adventure with Harvey, and I think that his spirit of wanting to help and be a part of other people's lives and making them better and fulfilling other people's dreams way before his dreams are fulfilled is something that is just rare and unique. In the year 2005, Harvey and his wife Harriet created the Harvey and Harriet Bookstein Chair in Taxation and the Bookstein Institute for Higher Education in Taxation at CSUN. This is one of CSUN's largest gifts from an alumnus and represents the first ever endowed chair in the College of Business and Economics. Harvey's involvement in the, in the life of the university and the college, whether it's on the board of the university corporation, on the advisory board for the college, or in a multitude of ways has made a real difference 
in who we are and, and what we will become in the future. It's only very few people that have the opportunity to affect the lives of, of so many with uh, just an act of generosity. You guys all need to be very, very proud. You are part of the CSUN family. As with all families, responsibility comes along with the joy of it. And part of that is making sure this institution continues to prosper and to get better and better for the next group of graduates in the near future. We're very proud of you for not just writing a check to CSUN, but really giving your time and, and you. And uh, as anybody knows, when you give you, uh, people benefit so greatly by that. Harvey, uh, you know, award is well deserved. Uh, I know you're a humble, humble person, uh, but I'm happy for you. Congrats. I just wish you and Harriet the best tonight. And I truly feel as though this school should be honored to have you as part of their alumni. Northridge has it all wrong. You're not the man of the year, you're the man of the century. And I love you. Congratulations to you, congratulations to Northridge. I think the one thing I want to say to Harvey is, well, sweetheart, the night has arrived, and here you are being honored. And I just want to tell you that I love you more today than I did yesterday, and I know tomorrow I'll even love you more. And congratulations, and you deserve this more than I could begin to express. Congratulations, we love you.